Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville 2 YouTube channel. For this video, we're going to talk about the Gorilla Glue Girl. Now, she was trending on Twitter a couple of days ago, and that's how I even found out about this whole ordeal. And it's so ridiculous, I have three different videos to show you. But before we get into that, I just want you to know that she has talked to an attorney, apparently has talked to an attorney, to consider suing Gorilla Glue. So as you watch this, just keep in mind that Gorilla Glue might get sued over this. And we're going to look at Twitter. She has people on her side who are very sympathetic to her problem. So there's a couple of TikTok videos. Let's jump over there and start with number one. Hey, yo, for those of y'all that know me know my hair has been like this for about a month now. It's not a choice. No, it's not a choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with a little got to be glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I did. First off, am I the only one who, what accent is that? I can barely understand her. And her name's Tessica. So it's like. What? What? Look. Just wipe it right look, up. Yo, look. Look, you wipe it off and nothing happens. Like, this is the life that I'm living with. <laughs> like, this is the life that I guess I'm happy to live. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, one more video. This one I had to turn the sound off because she had music playing and we can't do that. So she went to the ER. No, oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, look at the girl behind her. Okay, that's the whole thing. That was it for the last update. So now we jump over to Twitter where Gorilla Glue has an official statement. Which, by the way, this should be, they should turn this into a marketing campaign. There has to be something you can make money off of on this, especially if she's going to sue you anyways. Their statement, we are aware of the situation and we are very sorry to hear about the unfortunate incident that Miss Brown experienced using our spray adhesive on her hair. This is a unique situation because this product is not indicated for use in or on hair as it is considered permanent. <laughs> I know, that's why you should make a commercial. <laughs> it's so permanent. Our spray adhesive states in the warning label, do not swallow, do not get in eyes, on skin, or on clothing. It is used for craft, home, auto, or office projects to mount things to surfaces such as paper, cardboard, wood, laminate, and fabric. We are glad to see in her recent video that Miss Brown has received medical treatment from her local medical facility and wish her the best. So I've seen, I've looked at a bunch of stuff from here, so I don't know if it was a news article or what it was, but she said, she's, it might've been the TMZ article we're going to take a look at in a second. She spent 22 hours at the ER and <laughs> they tried acetone in her hair and it burned her scalp or something. And they tried rubbing alcohol, which made it gooey, but then rehardened. But I'm thinking if it made it gooey, then you just needed more rubbing alcohol and maybe it would eventually come out. <laughs> What mineral spirits would work? And can you put that in your hair? <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, so anyways, now let's go back to the article real quick. So there's one, uh, one part I want to show you. So let's look at these couple of paragraphs. It says, remember, Tessica says her hair has been rock solid for a month. Now, the other thing is, is it not? Uh, a, I thought I heard somewhere that hair grows like an inch a month. So in some way, it has sealed her head to where her hair's not growing at all. Like, I'm surprised there's not, like, sprouts. Like, think of when you plant grass seed and, the, you know, you got the dirt and then little sprouts of grass start popping up. The, the new hair growth cannot penetrate the Gorilla Glue? Is that is that what's happening here? Uh, gorilla Glue told us the quickest possible remedy was rubbing alcohol. Our sources say Tessica, Tessica's 
hired an attorney. Is that the right way? Our sources say Tessica's hired an attorney and is weighing her legal options against Gorilla Glue. We're told the label on the product she used says not to use on eyes, skin, or clothing. No mention of hair, which Tessica feels is misleading. You have got to be shitting me. No serious person believes that. Come on. That is so ridiculous. It doesn't say I can't use it in my hair. Didn't say I couldn't use it on my eyelashes and now I glue my eyelashes shut. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, God. Didn't say you couldn't use it on your hair. Gorilla Glue says all of its products are considered permanent and the packaging states it too. I can't imagine she would win, but remember, there was a lady who won a lawsuit against McDonald's because they served her hot coffee. So, we live in a batshit crazy world, plus she's got a couple things going, so she gets victim points here, and we all know how victim points work in the last couple of years. <laughs> Tessica is already crowdfunding for her medical bills. A GoFundMe has raised $9,000. I wouldn't give her nine cents. Stupidity has consequences, and you are living with the consequences of your own stupidity. Who puts Gorilla Glue spray in their hair? Considering we've never heard of this before, she's probably the first person which might make her the dumbest human on earth. Just might. Let's look at Twitter really quick, because we had this... Um, thing from Gorilla Glue, and there's a bunch of responses. She has company in her stupid dumb. <laughs> it's not a unique situation, by the way. A lot of people, including myself, I wouldn't admit that in a public forum, have used your products in our hair or on our nails in replacement of other products. For your own legal safety, I'd add it to the list of warnings on your products. See, I go the other way on this. I am a believer that all warning labels should be removed from all products because this is how you weed out the stupid people. They will take care of themselves if you just remove the warning label. But how long the warning label would be the entire packaging of the product if you were to include every single little possible item this glue could be stuck to that it's not supposed to be. I mean, right here in this idiot's tweet, it says that they use it on their nails. So they're going to add hair to the packaging label and then someone's going to glue something to their nail and then someone it doesn't say nails, it says skin, it says eyes, it says hair, it says this, it doesn't say nails. I mean, these people are just idiots. This person, this is bad PR for your brand. A smart move would have been to sponsor her treatments. Hell no. Do not help stupid people. Let them be stupid and figure it out on their own. <laughs> this one's actually a fake tweet from Gorilla Glue. They didn't actually say this. I'm making a small attempt at not getting demonetized, so you you know what word that is. But we never thought we'd have to say this, but do not use our products on your hair. <laughs> That should have been the real tweet. That should have been the only statement. This is our statement on the matter. They probably also should have called her an idiot or some other word because I would feel better if she just... Someone used to call her out and say, hey, you're an idiot. You are stupid. I do not feel sorry for your stupidity. On the bright side, you will probably never do this again. Maybe. Depends how far the stupidity goes. <laughs> Look at this one. Gorilla Glue. Is it true I cannot use your product as lube? <laughs> <laughs> it also doesn't say don't put this up your nose or don't use as lip gloss <laughs> could you imagine i thought it was nasal spray i had a runny nose i wanted to stop now i can't breathe <laughs> and then i used it as lip gloss <laughs> oh god i gotta stop this okay one last time let's watch the first video because i just love it so much no my hair has been like this for about a month now it's not by choice. No, it's not by choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with a little got to be glue spray. I got to you know, be just glue to spray. keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got to be glue spray, so I used this Gorilla Glue Spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. 